What's going on everyone? Today we're taking a look at a Certified for Teams headset from Yealink, the BH72. The BH72 is not just a certified headset, we've also got the charging stand that it comes with, allowing for wireless charging using the stand, or there is a cable for USB charging as well. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing of the headset and charging stand, show you all the components and features that it comes with, go over all the buttons on the headsets themselves and those capabilities. We'll take a look at updating and managing the device using the firmware or using the software from Yealink. And then we will do a demo of the Microsoft Teams integration using the headset, as well as an audio demo so that you get a sense of what it sounds like to record spoken audio through the headset. Let's dig in. Taking a look at our box before we get everything unboxed, you'll see we got that certified for Microsoft Teams right up top. We've got a couple things to note down here. One, there is a retractable hidden microphone arm. This is a rather unique form factor in the other team certified headsets as I've seen them before. You can see that little boom mic will actually extend outside of the uh, earmuff itself. We've got multiple microphones built into the headset, providing the acoustic shield technology from Yealink and up to 40 hours of wireless battery life. Turning the box to the side, we've got one other item that I'll call out here, the dual side busy light for full visible angles. So on either ear, we can see the various different status indicators depending on whether the device is in use or what state it's in. And of course, on the back of the box, there is the Yealink Connect app software. We can grab that from the Apple App Store, also from the Android App Store. And then of course, there is the version we can grab on the desktop as well allowing us to upgrade our firmware and uh, adjust our settings. That being said, let's crack the front of the box open. We lift it on up and inside we've got our startup guide right here. Now this quick start guide, this is pretty expansive. This gives us a whole lot of information. We've got our package list contents, which include the headset, the stand, the USB -A or to USB-C cable for charging, the dongle that'll come with it as well for Bluetooth connectivity, the storage bag, and of course, this quick start guide. Finally, the power adapter for the wireless or charging stand as well. A couple different options for charging. We can charge via USB or via the wireless charging station. Our LED indicator status is there. We can see that the device is charging when the headset shows red and the base shows green, and it's fully charged when the headset shows green. We're powering on and off. We've got our power button there and an LED indicator. We just press the power button and it turns green to show that it's on. Hold the power button for two seconds to turn it off and we see red. We've got a little guide here for pairing and connecting our device to a mobile headset using Bluetooth. We've got our call controls right here and this is where we can see things that are a bit unique compared to other headsets. We've got that retractable uh, boom microphone. If you press it in when you're in a call, it mutes the call. If you pull it out when it's in and a call is incoming, that's how you accept the call. Then you will push this multi-function button to either answer or hang up the call, and you will press it twice to reject the call. For our indicators down here at the bottom, we can see that our busy light will flash red for an incoming call. It'll be solid red when you're talking, showing that you're busy. It'll be flashing purple when you're trying to connect to Microsoft Teams. And then when you're connected to Microsoft Teams successfully, it'll be a solid purple color. We've got some music controls right up top, and then number seven shows us the customers button. You've got the Teams edition or the UC edition. This is the Teams edition that we are gonna be going over. By pressing that Teams button once, it opens up your Teams notifications. If this were the UC edition, you could hold down that button for two seconds and activate your voice assistant, like Google uh, Assistant, Siri, etc. Next up, we've actually got that carrying case that it mentioned a second ago. This is a uh, cloth carrying case with a little Velcro right up front for closing and opening. Got the Yaling branding up top. Um, if we, as we pull the headset out, we've got a couple things in here. Our USB-A to USB-C cable, set that off to the side. If we flip up this little insert here, this has our USB-A dongle. And then pulling the headset all the way out, We've got some protective foam right here in the middle. We'll pull that off to the side and we can see this is our BH-72 
certified for Teams headset. Lastly, we've got our charging station here, our wireless charging station. We can see we've got the charging base right here where the charging side of the headset will lay flat against with the uh, headband of the headset going through this place right here to keep it lined up and not falling over. And then when you're not charging, you'll use the very top here to rest the headset on with the headband there for a nice clean display on the desktop. Coming around to the very back, we've got our port for power. And finally, we've got the power cable itself right here in this plastic wrap. Now, Yealink does have warnings inside about making sure that you use only the power cable that is provided with this whole set to plug into the charging station. So don't get creative and use your own cable. Use the included power cable. Coming in for a closer look at the BH72 headset. On this side, we can see that we've got the uh, boom mic that extends out. And again, this would be how you would answer the call. We would just pull that out to answer. We'd slide it back into mute. On both sides of the headset, you'll see that we've got the busy light indicators right down at the very bottom. And then this side marked with the lightning bolt, this is our charging side. So we will take the headset, we will fold the ear muffs inside like this, and we will set it down on the charging station nice and flat to get that wireless charge. One of the things that Yealink calls out on the box is that the comfort level of the ear muffs are meant for all day wear. There is a really good thick layer of foam for the ears here. I could see that being the case. We've got the R and the L for right versus left. And then as far as that comfort factor goes, we've got a pretty thick level of foam on the headband here as well. Hard plastic outer shell, but then a really good thick foam here to ensure that the top of your head isn't worn on too much as you wear it throughout the day. Coming back around to our buttons, right here on the charging side, we've got that Microsoft Teams button right up top. That lets us bring up our Microsoft Teams notifications. And coming around to the other side, we've got a number of buttons here. And coming around to the other side, we've got a number of buttons here. Right up top, we've got our mute button. But again, you can mute right here, or you can slide the uh, microphone back into the ear muff itself to mute a call. We've got the power button here and a little LED indicator right above it, indicating whether or not the device is powered on, whether or not it's charging. And then coming down below, we've got a plus and minus for our volume up and down. And then we've got the multi-function key here and allowing us to answer, hang up a call, manage our audio for, uh, for playing back media. And at the very bottom, we've got the USB-C port so that we can charge with the USB cable rather than the wireless charging stand. Now with the wireless charging stand, we've got this portion right up here that allows us to set our headset on it when we've got a full charge and we wanna just simply display the headset neatly and tidily on our desktop. With our headset powered on, we'll now go ahead and set it on the charging stand. We're gonna slide the uh, headband into this little area right here to keep it upright. And we put the charging side down on top of the charging surface. Now you can see we've got a solid green indicator indicating that we are charging and a red indicator indicating that the headset is charging but not fully charged. Once we have a solid green indicator here, that'll let us know we've got a full charge. And now for the look and feel demo, although it's more of a me feel and tell you about it and you get a sense of what it looks like. But we'll go ahead and remove the BH72 from the wireless charging stand. And with the microphone facing forward, because you're gonna speak into the microphone, we will put it on top of our heads. Now, if you need a little bit of extra room at the top, on the top of the head, let's say you put it on and the earmuffs don't come quite down to your ears, these simply slide out. It's an easy in and easy out on both sides. So you kind of put it right up top and bring it down to the right level to where you are sitting evenly over both ears. So there you go, that is the look of what it's like to wear the BH72 headset. As far as the feel goes, that thick cushioning on the ears and the headband, you barely even know the thing is there. It feels nice and light, um, it feels sturdy, but you, you definitely feel the cushion. So that's a good thing in my book. The uh, microphone over on this side, again, if we wanna answer a call that's coming in, we'll just pull the microphone out. If we wanna mute the call, 
we will put the microphone right back in. And then if we're going to hang up the call, we're going to use our multi functions at the back of the ear back here to hang the call up. So following the little quick start guide that we had inside the box, we have downloaded the Yaylink Connect app. And uh, you can see that right at it's called Yaylink USB Act for the uh, Connect. Yaylink USB Connect for the PC. And so that's what I've installed. Uh, right away, it presents us with this Yaylink Management Cloud option here where we can sign in if we've got an enterprise ID and a local name. Um, but we, we're going to skip that. We're not doing that today. We're not showing an enterprise setup. This is just an individual setup. So here we've got the BH72 headset. It is ready to plug in with USB. And I'm going to plug it in to the PC. And when I do, I want to point out uh, the busy light. So as we get turn it on, we get the busy light that comes on. The busy light, as you can see, is a solid purple down there. The solid purple indicates that it has detected Microsoft Teams running on the laptop and is connected to it. So this is now, as a team certified device, integrated into our Microsoft Teams client. So we'll uh, flip this around to this side. You can see we've got a solid green LED indicating this is now fully charged. Um, and again, solid purple on the other side as well. With that plugged in, we're going to go ahead and say skip link here. We can see that we've got the BH72 detected. Uh, firmware version tells us we've got a new one here to install. We're fully charged. So let's go ahead and say next. On this page, it's kind of like our little dashboard, if you will, for the BH72. We've got all of our uh, statuses here, our connection method, equipment model, the fact that it's paired. Uh, we've got our firmware version as well, serial number, hardware version, lots of fun stuff. The official website link down here at the bottom. If we go over to the device settings, you can see that we've got a few things here we can customize. Uh, on the headset guidance section, keypad tone. We have these little bubbles telling us what these are. So like, for instance, keypad tone, you will hear a tone on the headset when the button is pressed. Uh, this is turned on. Status tone type. And we can select the status tone type here. We've got voice, so it's going to prompt with voice, or we can have ringtones, or we can turn it off. And then, of course, the volume. We'll just leave it at the default for all these. Mute reminder. So a smart mute reminder. If you try to talk while your mic is muted, the headset will alert you using the uh, the guidance you just said above. We're going to leave that on. Microsoft Teams gives you that handy little reminder on screen, but having another reminder in your headset is a handy thing. Mute detection interval every 20 seconds. We can adjust that up or down. And then smart sensor, auto answer. So when there is a new call, you can answer it by pulling out the microphone arm. And we'll leave that on. So if we want to turn that capability off, we can toggle that off here. But we're going to leave those settings in place. Uh, moments. So we come in here, we can see we've got a few different presets that we can set for the office, for relaxation, and then for my moment as well. Uh, on the music presets, I'm not going to touch any of this stuff because I'm just going to mess it up. Uh, but we'll leave it all at the default so you can see you can customize that stuff. Uh, warning light. So do not disturb in a call. Turning this option on, the busy light will automatically light up when a call comes in. We'll leave that on. And then busy light. You can use this option to manually turn the busy light on or off. So you've got a manual switch that you can use on the headset to turn the busy light off if you want. Again, leaving the defaults alone. Coming over to update device, we do have that new version available. So we'll go ahead and say update now. And it tells us please ensure the power is not less than 30%. Check. Please ensure that the computer and the headset are always connected. Check. And after the upgrade is complete, the BH72 will automatically restart the connection. Sure thing. So now we see that we are underway with our uh, with our with our update. And with that happening, we're going to come over and take a look. We've got the blinking happening up top on our uh, on our our LED indicator, and the blinking indicates that we are updating the device. So firmware upgrade is in progress. 
And with that, our firmware update is successful. We are back to a solid LED on the headset itself. So we'll go ahead and say OK. We see that we are up to date on this screen as well. And the last thing we can point out here is our device support. So you've got logging that can be turned on, logging levels, log file collection, the ability to upload the log files, and then, of course, feedback right here as well. And lastly, you can restore the factory settings. So I just plugged in the USB dongle, and now you see the Yealink USB Connect software prompting us that it needs to be updated as well. We'll say update, and we will say OK. And there we go. Headset and Bluetooth dongle, both updated to the right for current firmware version. We'll say OK, and we'll close the Yealink USB Connect software at this time. Now, as we are connected and we are integrated to Microsoft Teams, I do have the Microsoft Teams client open on the laptop. We've got the Microsoft Teams button sitting right at the back of the device here. Uh, I'm Oh, sorry, this side. You got to remember which side it's on. You got the Microsoft Teams button sitting back here. So if I push that once, boom, the Microsoft Teams client pops up. So the next thing we're going to do here is I'm going to initiate a call from one account to the account signed in on the screen here. And we're going to pull out the uh, microphone right here. There it is. We're going to pull out that boom mic to answer the call. So let's go ahead and initiate. We've got an incoming call on the screen. I hear it in my headset. I pull the mic out and boom, we answer the call. You can see the camera on the phone looking up to the ceiling as I have it laid on the desk. And we have answered a Microsoft Teams call using the boom mic pullout feature on the headset itself, a little bit more of that Microsoft Teams integration. The other thing that we can do while we're on the call is we can press the mute button right at the very top of the ear um, up on the back, or we can slide the boom mic in to mute the call. Notice we are not currently muted on the Teams client, but we slide this in and we are muted in the Microsoft Teams call. And the other way that we could have answered the call was the multi-function button on the back of the earmuff. I'm going to go ahead and push that button once to hang up the call as well. There we go. And the last demo that I want to do here while wearing the BH-72 from Yealink is an actual audio recording demo, which I am doing right now. That's right. The audio you are hearing is me speaking through this boom mic on the headset itself. So... Open your ears up, soak in that sound. That is what it sounds like to be on the other side of a call as we are recording audio through the boom mic on the BH-72. And there you have it, the BH-72 headset from Yealink, certified from Microsoft Teams. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please share it all over social media. And if it wasn't helpful, please also share it all over social media, but without your added commentary. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. There is a handy little subscribe button below so that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and turn on notifications so that you are notified every time I come out with another helpful device overview video. Thanks again, and I hope we'll see you back here for the next device overview video.